Welcome to another video, dear friend. This one's about creativity. Do you think everyone can be creative? How can we become more creative? I believe that creativity is a part of human nature. It's the different ways we interact with the world the different connections we make between things. What do you think about when you think of a pen? I think of treasure. I think of freedom. I think of breathing. And I immediately get anxious about the thought of it running out of ink. I've become an anxious person in the recent years and I'm still working on it. But back to creativity. To some, it comes easier than to others, not because of a genetic predisposition, but because it needs to be developed. Even someone who thinks they are not creative has surprised me multiple times with creative word combinations, actions, ideas. If they engage in creative activities, they can definitely grow this side of themselves. But a lot of us are afraid to pursue creativity or simply don't know where to start. Last year, I started the Morning Pages journal. If you've never heard of Morning Pages, it's simply the act of writing stream of consciousness first thing in the morning. This journal became two things to me. One, a safe space to make mistakes. To write and write wrong to think and think wrong. Here, the bad writing is part of the text. I do not cross it out. Everything that comes to my mind is worthy of a place. There is space for every thought, for every part of my being. Here, I don't filter myself. Two a way to get to know myself. By being unfiltered, I find parts of myself that I wasn't aware of. Imperfect parts, real parts. And as they belong in the text, they belong in me. I accept them. This is a space to go places in my mind I haven't been to before. Earlier this year, after getting comfortable with the act of thinking freely, without judgment, I found myself wanting to explore my thoughts on particular topics throughout the day, not just in the morning. So I stopped using this journal as only morning pages and turned it into a Meditations on Life journal. This allowed it to become one third thing to me. 3. A place to be inquisitive. Now, for each topic I create content around, whether it be writing a story or making a video, I open a page in this journal first and allow myself to explore my thoughts on it. What about it makes me curious? What are my feelings around it? Which parts of it am I afraid to go into? Why? Often I challenge myself to explore hard topics because those are the subjects I find more fulfilling diving into and trying to understand. The more I write, the more I create, the more clarity I gain about the world around me. Should writers write every day? I think it's good to meditate on life regularly if you're an artist, and even if you aren't. To pay attention to the mundane, to daily thoughts and patterns, simple moments like watching your cat sleep. Writing is being mindful. It's making a conscious effort to connect with life. And the more you do something, the better you get at it. Once we gain clarity over our own thoughts, 
The next best thing to do is to listen to other people's perspectives. So let's start a dialogue in the comments. I would love to know what you do to inspire creativity and in which ways you look to connect with the world. And don't forget, create what is true to your heart.